Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying the Janus. It's an old dry fly. Um, you don't really see it that often anymore, I wouldn't say, but it does work very well. Um, it's a good fly for grailing in the winter when they're, if they're rising. And it can be good for trout all year, really. Um, especially when they're sort of smut on tiny stuff. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel to get access to the members on the content and be eligible for the giveaways. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. That's all I appreciate it. So, I've got my hook and my vise. This is the hook I'm using is this one. It's the Vince Marin Arrow Midge Fly, it's a size 24. Um, which is a short shank hook, so you've got a wide gape, right? It's a, the gape of a 24 with a shank of a 26, basically. Right, so, <clears throat> I don't think Partridge still make these. You might be able to pick them up online somewhere. Um, otherwise, you should look for a short shank hook or a wide gape hook, however it's marketed. And keep them small, right? I mean, this fly sort of stops working, I don't know, when it gets much bigger than a 20. But in the, the small sizes, it can be very, very effective. So, I've run on some black thread. This is just Uni 8 You can use Nano Silk or whatever if it helps you with a smaller fly, but you don't really need it. I'm actually going to back this off a bit to tie in my hackle. So, just to save bulk. My hackle for this is just, or the rear hackle is a red game. And you want it to be sized, you know, for the gate, maybe maybe even slightly over. Um, just catch that in, more or less the length of the shank. And then it's a nice long hackle so I can wind it by hand. I'll put just two. See, th three looks quite good on this, I would say. Catch it off. And I'm going to ignore it for the time being. Just have a wee look, make sure everything's. That looks alright. And I'm going to get this sort of, there's a tail on it, or a, I mean, it might even be thought of as a wing, I suppose, but it's just some grizzly hackle fibres, and you want this to be long, right? You don't try to tie this, what you would maybe traditionally say is proportional to the hook. It can be a good bit longer, right? Maybe like a hook and a half. And it sort of serves two functions. It acts kind of like that, like a tail or a wing, but it also does make the fly a wee bit easier for you to see on the water. Trim away the waste. Just that forward, tidy everything up. Now, I'm just going to buy that off a wee bit. Come back and just make sure that the tie in of the, that tail fibre is right against the hackle. Even if it sort of pushes the hackle back slightly at the top, that's no problem. Then I'll come back and I've left myself basically an eye length um, clear behind the eye. We get a wee wee hackle, and this is probably a true 24 hackle or a Right, uh, uh, maybe even a 26, right? Your hackle can be short. Should be short at the front. I should say, no, can be. Okay, that tied in. Nice and tight. I've waxed my thread before I started tying. So I've got a fair bit of grip. Now, this hackle's a wee bit small, so I'll use my pliers. 
and you'll see as I wind that it's much shorter than the the rear hackle. So the rear hackle's sort of in proportion to the gape, maybe slightly over as I said. This has got to be nice and a wee short hackle here. So that inside the gape. So that if you set the fly on your table when it's done, it'll be like going downhill, you know, the eye of the hook will be lower than the bend as it stands. Just very gently. Dead easy to snap these wee feathers. Two or three, three and a half, something like that. That will do. Catch it off. And another. Just drop those cross hand wraps in. I'm going to take the hackle pliers off. Right, do that. Take the hackle pliers off and get another couple of wraps in, maybe three. No more than that. Just to lock everything in place. You can come in, trim that close. And if you've done a good job, you can just go straight into your whip finish. Which will be enough to build the head. Just support the hook and draw it in through your fingers so you don't catch any hackle. Support the hook and seat that down. Trim away the waist. And there is a weird looking little fly that will catch you a lot of fish if you get the confidence to fish it. The Janus. I think, I think I first saw this in, oh I don't know, it might have been, I feel like it might have been a book by one of Peter Dean's books. Which will sort of put an age on it, it must be set from, I mean that book, they books were probably the 70s or 60s. And I think the fly had been around for a while before then. Anyway, I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lanes guys, bye.